Number eight. I would be a vampire if I could. I would be a vampire. If the devil came to me and said, Bernie, want to be a vampire? I'd be like, yes. Yes. Running to the trap. G in the streets. Playing with the best. Yeah, we don't freeze. Niggas try to steal. Today I'm about to do top 10 rated R anime. Well, it's actually top 20, but I already did number 20 through number 11, so now we're doing 10 through number 1. I told y'all, I got y'all. People was like, Brady, you said you was going to do it. Nigga, as you can see, I took a two-day break from putting up any videos. I ain't put up videos for two days. I've been chilling. Actually, I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. I had a crazy-ass weekend. I got drunk as fuck. Drunk as fuck. Yesterday, I had the worst hangover I probably had since I was like... Motherfucking 21 or something. I have no clue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I drank way too much. Way too fucking much on Saturday. Like, I had a whole bottle of Jose Cuervo. I basically drank that whole thing. I was so fucking drunk. I thought I was going to have alcohol poisoning. That's how lit I was. No, no, I had a lot of fun, of course. I'm talking about yesterday. Yesterday when I woke up, man, I felt fucking horrible. I just drank a whole bunch of water, though. I drank two gallons of water yesterday. I flushed all that alcohol out my system. I took, like, at least... Eight different doodles, bro. Swear to God, yesterday my booty hole was on fire because I had to take like eight different doodles to get out all that alcohol. I hate throwing up. I absolutely hate throwing up, so I didn't throw up. But yeah, I took like eight different doodles yesterday. My booty hole was burning. My booty hole still hurts this morning. Anyway, I'm ready to hop on into this. Too much information. It is what it is. Y'all, my niggas. Y'all, my family. Chill, my guy. Let's hop into the video. Black Lagoon. We could go into great detail about how this show women doesn't shy away from gang I ain't gonna violence, lie. how its setting allows everything from but drugs, that's why I like prostitution, to see them get beat up too. and hardcore bloodshed to run rampant across the screen. He's a prostitution. Y'all wanna know a secret? I gotta give me a prostitute. I got to. I got to. That's one of my goals. For the 2020s, within the next 10 years, I'm gonna give me an upscale prostitute. I never had a prostitute before. So, I mean, why not have that experience? I'm going to pay for an upscale prostitute. Maybe if I go out the country or something. I don't know. But I got to have a prostitute at least once in my life. Like, why not? I got to. Like, that's a goal of mine. Happy to delve into the intricacies that come with seeing a boat full of neo-Nazis get slaughtered. Now witness the awesome power of this. Shut the f*** up. I wasn't even listening. She However, all we really like need her. to highlight in order to prove this series isn't for the kids is Revy's motor mouth. This woman could curse like no other to the point where it's almost poetic. Why don't I do you a f***ing favor and show you what color your brain is? Wait! I like her. And we're connected. Uh, Number 9, Helsing Ultimate. I'm just pleased, that's all. The world would be so boring without idiots like you to amuse me. On one side, you have crazed Catholics seeking to exterminate all sinners. On the other, you have vampire remnants of the Third Reich, led by a major who adores nothing more than war and genocide. I've heard of this before, and in the Helsing middle, Ultimate. a gun-wielding Dracula who might just be the most bloodthirsty of them all. It takes a man in order to kill a monster. If you're looking to witness pure stylistic carnage, then you can't go wrong with watching Alucard go on one of his signature rampages. One thing is for sure, it sucks to be a civilian in this series. It sucks to be a civilian, period. Rip Van Winkle. Number eight. I would be a vampire if I could. I would be a vampire. If the devil came to me and said, Bernie, want to be a vampire? I'd be like, yes. Yes. <laughs> A running oh, theme of all great R-rated anime appears to be that the worst monsters out there are none other than human beings. After immersing ourselves in this whirlpool of a psychological thriller, we're inclined to agree. While pursuing a career as an actress, former singer Mima soon finds herself on the receiving end of a dangerous stalker, all the while her grip on reality seems to slowly be starting to slip. <laughs> Primal in its presentation with a visceral truth to it, this classic will have you holding your breath right up to its fever dream of a finale. So she just lost her mind, clearly. 
Number seven, Attack on Titan. It's oh, I'm surprised this is number seven. Unfortunately, mankind is no longer. I thought this would be like higher chain. up. As giant yeah, humanoid yeah. beasts known as Titans wander the land, the duty of expanding humanity's reach is handed to the poor souls of the Survey Corps. My friends are being devoured, and all I can do is watch. After his mother is killed and he finds himself inexplicably cursed with the power to transform into a titan himself, a vengeful young man named Eren decides to take the fight to the enemy. Prepare to see a lot of characters get digested. You know what? Fuck it, I'll watch Attack on Titan next. Why not? I know it's one of the greats. Ghost in the Shell. Oh! I finished, uh... I saw this movie, actually. Uh, I forgot. I forgot the girl that played Ghost in the Shell. What was her name? What's her name again? She's an extremely famous actress. I forgot her name. But anyway, Attack on Titan. I might watch that one next. I finished. I finally finished uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, Full Metal. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. I finished that shit. I finished it yesterday. So I am looking for another anime. I'm gonna take a break though. I'm gonna take like a two week break from watching anime. It's a lot of cartoon. You know what I'm saying? I need to watch like real shit for a second. So in about two weeks. I'm going to ask y'all, and yeah, y'all let me know. Which one? A thinking entity who was created in the sea of information. What separates man and machine? But yeah, I saw the answer this, I might saw this be a little movie. trickier than you think, especially was, when AI cool. enters the picture. As Major Kusanagi hunts down the elusive hacker known as the Puppet Master, the film explores the concepts of life, death, gender, and the ways in which technology holds sway. Don't that's the same, that's the same scene they have from the movie, too. She killed people, jumped out, and as she was falling, she turned I mean, invisible. Still can't unsee she was the sight of the Major tearing up her own body against a waking tank. <laughs> Number five, back and oh. <laughs> Knock that nigga too far, too. Very good, Carol. I see what you mean by main character -ish. Gangsters, immortality, and a whole lot of bullets. Thanks to the show's dynamic cast of characters and their endless supply of charm, you'll find yourself falling head over heels for them in spite of their large body counts. Okay. Don't get us wrong, there's blood and guts galore, but that doesn't make Isaac and Miria's antics any less fun. Just like watching Claire Stanfield talk about how he is nothing short of a blood-soaked, omnipotent being any less captivating. I am the absolute center of this world, its creator. There's so much to love you about these guys me? that by the end of it, you won't even blink twice at all the murders that occur on the flying pussyfoot. What's the matter, sweetheart? Are you saying you don't want to be killed by me? <laughs> Number four, Devil Man Cry Baby. Devil Man Cry Baby. Devil you feeling Man good about baby. life at the moment? Then just watch this latest adaptation of the 1970s classic, and you'll soon be reminded of how our species are no more virtuous than demons. After being Thanks. informed by his bestie that the denizens of hell are using human bodies as hosts, local mm. wimpy kid Akira finds himself unwittingly facts, turned though. into a devil himself. Did you hear what he said? That's facts, though. He said some of the demons are using uh, humans as hosts, so basically they'll go inside of them and take over their body. But that's what's happening in reality now. Like, the world is not what it seems. But one Trust with a human me. heart. Trust me. I'm so fucking weird. Everything in this modern masterpiece is hardcore, from the violence to the sex to the feels. Won't be long before you're crying just as hard as Akira. Number three, Berserk. What a title named Berserk. This shit better be crazy. You cannot escape. It's a cruel world, and the swordsman Guts knows it all too well. Born from a corpse, abused by his foster father, thrown onto the battlefield from the time he could walk, this guy has seen more carnage than any can imagine, and that's all before he finds himself drafted into the mercenary company known as the Band of the Hawk. I, got a I find you much bro. to my liking. I want you to join me, Guts. From there, he finds himself embroiled into a 100-year war, facing down creatures not of this world, and suffering the greatest betrayal in anime history. Who betrayed him? Ah! Number two, okay. Akira. Akira! As far as dystopian futures go, this is one you certainly won't want to be caught up in. Why not? Well, maybe for those slick motorcycles, but that's about it. Yeah, As gang warfare erupts in the city of Neo-Tokyo, 
Friends Canada and Tetsuo find themselves thrown into a whole new kind of hell when the latter finds himself imbued with immense psychic abilities. His telekinesis is that strong? At that point, it's on. As Tetsuo's powers rage out of control, you can wish. expect to see plenty of one-ton destruction along with what could possibly be the most disgusting transformation sequence of all time. Oh, I don't wish, because he transforms to that. I'm straight. <laughs> look, look, I'm straight. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified hey, about our girl. latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos, or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings Come and on, bro. notifications. Number one, Cowboy Bebop. They, they love fucking Cowboy Bebop, nigga. They love that shit. There may not be as this much dude is so smooth to me, though. Every time I see... Style, nothing every time the they uh, put Cowboy Bebop the on the list... In his every time they put Cowboy Bebop on the list, this dude is so fucking smooth to me, man. This, the this nigga right down here. Bounties, he reminds me of, like, Gambit or something from X-Men. Like, this nigga is smooth, criminals, deadly assassins, and the If I was an assassin, I want to be smooth as fuck, too. Why are you still alive? <laughs> Over, there really is no other word for this show than life. cool. You only go out at night. Here, right in this town. Eat people to survive. Step aside, Lynn. Do you agree? All right, all right. Watch Mojo. Great video again, like always. Um, any of these? I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna take two week break from watching anime. I just finished fucking uh Full Metal Alchemist. I binge watched that shit. I finished five seasons and what? three, four weeks at most, like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I've been binge watching anime, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take a little break. But in like two weeks, I'm gonna ask y'all what anime I should watch, and I'll go from there. It might be Attack on Titan. My cousin is still telling me, like, Brandon, just watch Attack on Titan. You tripping. One of the best anime of all time. He really feels like that. Even y'all be saying it too. So I might give it a shot. But I don't know. I like to be difficult sometimes, so that's why I haven't been watching it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a stack. Anyway, I'm gonna see y'all next time.